Welcome back to another episode of Shade House. We are currently in week 38. Shade House is a place where we have six sims that live together and we observe the shenanigans that happen. Last week, we got to see a cute little date with Char and Tora. They seem really happy together. It has nothing to do with the spell that was put on both of them. Gwen is absolutely making very good headway with the restaurant. Sean Cody designed a room for the Limes, a very wealthy client in Windenburg, and uh, they were kind of terrible. And Papa is struggling with his magic as always, but I do think that maybe we're on a positive path, maybe. Hopefully no more curses today, he seems to be the unluckiest magician in the entire valley. So let's see what happens this week in the House of Shade. It is a midnight on Saturday. We are with Gwen Gatsby, who is catching up on her daily news, watching a big old bitch on TV. Gwen is just a few days away from her next trimester, which is very exciting. I want to see if this becomes a vampire baby. That's the only thing that I need to know is if it is a vampire baby. I just need to know. It's, it's killing me. Today... Some of the things that we really need to work on are the restaurants. We need to make sure that Gwen gets up in the business career. We're going to make a little midnight business phone call, a little 1 a.m. call. And let's make sure that all of our clients know they need to really stop farting in the microwave. It's a weekly conversation at this point. Stop farting in the microwave, besties. I want to open up the restaurant. I know that it's late, but we've been starting our shifts late. Let's go manage our employees. This is a great time to do it. She was like, TV off. Let's go to Bar La Condom. It's been flopping. We need to help it stop flop. We're here at the restaurant. Gwen seems very happy. She is feeling like she had a delightful dinner, but the baby is really kicking. Let's check in on our staff. We've got this brand new cutie that we just hired. His name is Nick Yarger. It looks like Antoine still has his cheeks out. I love that for him. Jalissa has finally learned how to cook real food. I'm really feeling like Brennan's time might be coming to a close here at the restaurant. He just always seems so unenthused to be here. Meanwhile, Josefina is on her phone. Hey, can you make personal calls outside, please? This is not good for business. Take your phone call outside, ma'am. We're going to berate her. I know that it's two in the morning and I know that you probably don't want to be here. But listen, none of us ever want to work. But capitalism requires us to work so that we can make cash. What are these cursed things? Huh? I don't know what that was. Hey, please never be on your phone while you're at work. Please. I'm so ashamed. I didn't mean to mess up. Please don't put this on my permanent record. Girly Pop, it's already there. Let's entertain everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome into Bar La Condom, especially you, Samantha Karen Del Rio. Flirting with another married man. The decor here could do with some improvements. Uh, what do you mean? You need some improvements. What's wrong with the decor? Our employee doesn't like it. She says, boo, you suck. Get off the stage. You're going to tell me that I'm unprofessional for being on my phone. You're unprofessional for singing like that. What if we dropped a piano on her and hired a new employee who won't be on their phone or give us scowls? <gasps> Who's this cutie? She's texting about Squid again. 
I really uh, there's customers right behind you. There's a woman with Hindenburg titties who's not being helped right now. Meanwhile, your other coworker is doing all the work. Do you think she should be fired? Or do I give her another chance? I just don't see it in the cards for you, bestie. She's finally helping. She's helping Megumi Ito, whose husband is currently on an outing with Samantha Karen, who decided to liven up the place with a guitar solo. Yay! Thank you, Samantha, for the free entertainment. Our employee is digging in the garbage. And now she touched food? This is unsanitary! I really think that maybe we need to get rid of her. We'll have her do another training. And if she doesn't come back a better employee, then we will absolutely be sending her back to the house. We'll take her lipstick, like, very dramatically, like RuPaul, and be like, Thank you for participating, but the queen that I'm sending home is yes. Josefina. Yes. Hey, go to class afterwards. I think it'd be really beneficial for your path at this company. Offsite training? Will there be an obstacle course? Don't tell me. I want to be surprised. I wish this place had more friendly service. Huh? Is he not friendly enough? Are his titties not perky enough for you? Hold on, let's pay for more training for you. Let's do some standard training. Mortimer Goth! Why are my employees digging in the garbage? Thanks, I appreciate you investing in my future here. I'll go to class next time I'm off work. Thank you so much. We're gonna go. Antoine is very unsatisfied with his job. Try giving him a promotion or encourage him to improve his morale. Okay, yeah, 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 for sure. Don't you worry, bestie. Don't you worry. I'll give you extra money. Manage Antoine. Promote you to waiter level two. Will that make you feel better? Will that make you feel good? Here, let me give you a raise. We'll see if that makes it better. Here. Do you like that? Thank you. I've been working really hard. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> see, all they needed was a little encouragement with money. And now they're all better now. It is Halloween. I really think it's time for you to go. She made a mess on the ground. If if he, Antoine has to clean that, she's going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's got to go. Go ahead and, and pack up your stuff, Mama. Go ahead and pack up your stuff. Actually, we don't want to be too hard on her. I'd rather make it as simple as possible. She stood right up. That I think we let her off easy, right? That seemed easy. Don't worry, we're gonna clean up out here. <laughs> She's feeling really nice. She feels focused. She was singing and had a really nice time. Well, we gotta keep cleaning. We gotta keep cleaning. It's fine. Our employee died. It was an accident. It was completely unpreventable. I don't. I hope this didn't damper anybody's experience here at Bar La Condom. We like to have a premiere experience here. Thank you for calling Barla Condom. How can we traumatize you today with death? Death to all of them. And we gotta clean that up too. That's messy. Nothing bonds a restaurant quite like trauma. She's like, oh my god, the employee died. That's so upsetting. We should call and see if anybody else wants to come in and work. Oh, we can't do that while a sim is dying. She loves to throw her ass back in a circle. She's doing something with Victor. He's turning up to it. And so is Victor. Victor loves it. The Grim Reaper, I think, is really enjoying the show. I hope y'all had fun. Maybe we should stop twerking and hire a new employee. We have an open position. Great benefits. Make sure you don't dig in the trash. Minato, he's cute. We're gonna hire him. Gwen's got to do all this work. She's girl bossing her way through here. And it's Halloween. Here's our new employee. Oh, he's cute, though. I love his haircut. 
See, he's already getting straight to work. Yay! Thank you. Do you want a promotion? I don't want to be here anymore. You better stop messing up, or it'll be the piano for all of you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I'll remember you in therapy. It is Halloween. Our members would like to trick or treat. They want to wear some costumes. They want to get in the spooky spirit. And also remember those who have passed. <gasps> we should go to the cemetery tonight. How do we get in costumes? Costume party. At this party, Sims will be socializing and focusing on fun activities while wearing costumes. Let's have a party. Let's have a party with drinks. Gwen can't drink, but we'll have a party. And then we'll go to, there's a nightclub at the Discotheque Pen Europa. We'll go there. We're here, we're at the Discotheque Pen Europa. <laughs> we should wear costumes. Sean, Sean just got a new venue preference. Oh, I love that for him. Let's get everybody into our costumes. Click on your sim, select wear costume, then choose a fun costume. Do we not have a wear outfits? Looks like we can't wear costumes. It looks like we're supposed to be having a good time in boogieing, but most people I don't think are feeling the song. <laughs> Stacy says it's trash here though. Stacy is not really having a good time. This music is kind of awful. I don't... This is not really what I was expecting for Halloween. Char's getting a phone call from Jez Mender. I heard someone talk down about my skills. Is that true? No, I've not heard anybody talk about you. If I did, Jesminder, I promise I would get pianos ready. <laughs> Char is checking out Tora from across the room. Our local Kylie Minogue impersonator. They're all turning up up here at least. Meanwhile, Char and Tora have decided to sneak off downstairs. There's a closet that we've visited down here before. I believe Herman's frequented this closet before. Aha! Uh -huh. The closet! They, they could have gone inside the closet! Look how big Bud's butt is! Do you think that's all real? Do you think that's all his? Do you think that somebody gifted that to him? That's not a BBL, right? That's all natural. Dance party on Halloween! Ew, Finn McFair. Not on Halloween. It looks like Sean is really turning up to the music. Come on, Club Penguin. Maybe we should travel out to the graveyard. Glad it ended up coming. Let's do it again. Super awesome fun time. So many cool dance moves and things going on. Great party. That was a fun time. I'm they all had fun. Char had a blast. Well, now that the party's evacuated, literally they all left. They said, okay, bye. That was a fun party. Do we want to go to the graveyard, y'all? Let's go remember Teresa Prosciutto. Uh. I think that would be fun. Uh -uh. She said, uh, uh Well, we're going to do it anyway, girly. It's Halloween. To the final resting place. We'll bring the entire house. Including Zane. He didn't want to go party. He's not really much of a social butterfly. We're here at the graveyard at the final rest. Let's see if we can get in an outfit. Who is this child? Leonardo Lime. Ew! Why is this child here? Stacy found a bowl of chips in her pocket. Let's go over here and remember our dearly departed Teresa Prosciutto. We'll never forget. He's getting a phone call from Shingo. Hey, handsome, can you give me a call? Sure, what's up? Oh, he's just down here crying. Look at all these dead spellcasters from the realm of magic that died. Tragically, without any assistance from me, I had nothing to do with that. Let's release his spirit. He was musty. He was musty too. They shouldn't have been there. I love how they're laughing. They're like, bye. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Remember you in therapy. Yay, she feels really good about that. But also, she feels voodoo. She f from being voodooed. Who voodooed you? The day's almost over. And it looks like we're not really able to celebrate the way that people want to. 
I think, to be honest, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and go to the magical realm. I hope y'all have fun here. I, I really, I really love this event for all of you. But since it's, you know, kind of a bust, we had a really nice time at the dance party. Transportalate to the magical realm. We're not gonna bring anybody else with us. They don't need to come. I'll be back. I hope y'all have so much fun here at the graveyard. Let's see if there's any real magicians around here. Aha! You. She seems fun. Challenge to magic duel at dueling crowns. Heated duel, friendly duel. Hey, girl. So, um, I need to duel people still. Do you want to go to the dueling crown and go fight? I promise. I'm kind of bad at it. That's not me underselling. It's just reality. All right, they're at the magical dueling ground. Let's see if Papa gets his hits in. He's already got one strike against him. It's a one for Mio. Zero for Papa. It is still z zero to one. Come on, Papa, you got this. You got this, baby. You don't got this. It's zero to two. Mio's definitely winning this one. Why is Papa so bad at dueling? He's a really good spellcaster. He's got the highest one. Nope, he's lost. She's using a wand. Why isn't he using his wand? Always use wand. Stop singing Amazing Grace? Hey girl, I need. I really need to do it again. There's no way she's stronger than you. Death. Well, he's he tried his best. He gained a little knowledge. At least he didn't get cursed. You know what? I will take that. We're going to discharge a bit. Let's go check out the wands. Maybe our wand that we have right now is not very good. There's a wand shop over here, I think. Yeah, let's check out this. By wands, tomes, and familiars. Bone wand. Slightly more robust. Marble wand. Far more sturdy. <gasps> oh, ra a raven. Harbinger's prophecy, and some say bad luck. Ravens are an ancient creature that remains steadfast alongside their favorite spellcaster. I really feel like that exemplifies him. Is a raven? Ooh, we're gonna name it. I'm going to name it Poe. I know it's like... I know it's so cliche. Please, Papa. Please stop, Papa. Please, I beg of you. So he's got his familiar now. Let's check his spells. Let's check his talents. There's got to be something in here. Master Duelist. That is the problem. Is he's bad at dueling. Spend hard-earned talent points. Is there a way to reset these? Wait! Space Ranger! Oh my god, he had that in there the whole time? Halloween is over. It was pretty good. It wasn't up to Sean's expectations. Papa got to do a lot of things he wanted to do. Gwen got to do a lot of things she wanted to do. It was awful for Char, and it was awful for Stacy. But we had a great dance party. Hey, nobody can take away that dance party at Panyaropa. Is there a spell to... Or maybe a potion to redo his points? Aha! A potion that allows the spellcaster to choose different perks. Ooh, okay, wait, let's do that. Are there any other cauldrons not in use? Aha, this one. Kukio. Yay! He didn't screw it up this time. Bottle up all. Wait. That seemed bad. We should have all our skills back. Papa has cleared their mind of all previous techniques. Papa may now select different perks. We have 13. Okay, Discharge. Sims can now cast Discharge, which empties their entire spellcaster charge. Power Stunt. Casting a spell now adds significantly less spellcaster charge. 
Spectral Reach can now cast long distance without having to move closer to the target. Sims no longer know who cast the spell on them. Oh, let's go. Master Casters, casting spell no longer fails when the Sim is in normal spellcasting charge range. Backfires are greatly reduced. And Master Duelist, Sim has significantly increased chance of winning duel and reaps better rewards for them. Now that we've discharged, let's build our charge and see if anyone wants to fight. I'm ready, Papa. Let's freaking go. Round three. This has been weeks in the making that we've been trying to freaking do this. And it's Day of the Dead. We'll be charged by our love for Teresa Prosciutto. May she rest in peace. We'll have to go back to the graveyard. Do a little twerk off. All right, Papa, you got this. He seems distracted. He guards. Come on, Papa. It's a stalemate right now. They're watching very intently. Come on. You got this, sir. You got this. Damn, he's too good. He keeps blocking. Even she was impressed. She was like, whoa. Papa's down. It's one to zero. Two for zero. You were supposed to be better at this, bitch. Come on, Papa. Damn it. Papa Corn. You were supposed to be better at this. I wish you were not this way. Like, how many times does a guy have to fail before he finally wins something? We can only handle so much disappointment in one day. I worry that this is not the thing for him. Even though he keeps getting better and better and better. I don't know how much more he could possibly do. So Papa's rejoined everybody at the graveyard. We need to remember those who have passed but are never truly gone. And if there's anybody that matches that description for Day of the Dead, it is Teresa Prosciutto. Necro call? Wait. No, 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 no. She was gone the last time we tried to do this. She was totally gone the last time we tried to do that. She's gone. She's she's gone, gone, gone. Right? If we can bring Teresa back. He seems excited like it worked. But I don't think it did. Char wants to go. Wait, what is growing here? A trash plant. <laughs> the trash plant on the Calientes. <laughs> I'm going to send Gwen home because she's burning up in the sun. I love that Char is taking photos of this. You know what, girly pop? Let's take an official photo of this for the house. Oh, this makes me so happy. The Katrina, the Calientes just suffering with trash plants and poop in front of them. Yes! The Calientes can choke and I hope that they are rotting somewhere. Wherever they're at, I hope they are just as unhappy and stinky. I may come out as corny, but you're making me horny. It may be corny, but it's working. Get over here. At the graveyard? At the graveyard? In front of Teresa Prosciutto's grave? Right in front of my salad? Oh yeah, they're just, they're just kissing along this wall. Honestly, that's really hot though. Not in front of all of them. Sean, what are you doing? Leave the room. He wants to eat cultural food and he wants to decorate and also dance. We should have a vendor. Yay, then we get some tacos. Let's get some empanadas. That sounds so good. I want those tacos though. Those tacos look bomb. Is that chips and, and salsa? I want that too. Shrimp. Why are those here? <laughs> Sean's going to go chat with Shingo and see what he wants to do. Be like, hey, I'm very sad about all the death. Do you want to make me feel better? I'll make you feel good too, I promise. 
What if they go to the exact same spot that Papa and Zane are currently at? There's so much woohoo happening down here. Babies! Oh, it's just some babies that came to visit. Oh my god, let's give them treats. Oh, hello. Do you want a treat? Your name is Booger. Meanwhile, Stacy is dancing. She's ha and trying to sing her songs. The vendor went home. They said goodbye. <laughs> I love that everybody's just woohooing today. This is unnecessary. This is a very interesting day. We were at the discotheque and we partied down on Halloween, but didn't actually get to participate in any actual Halloween events. And then on Day of the Dead, everybody was just hooking up at the graveyard. But there were some lovely poop trash plants that grew on the Calientes. And when I tell you, nothing makes me happier than watching the Calientes suffer in the afterlife. Nothing makes me happier. We're officially now in winter season. That means we're in for a bunch of really fun holidays that I'm excited for. So next week we go full into winter mode, which means that we get to dress Poncho up in cute winter clothes again. All the outfits, all the cute winter outfits that they all have get to come out. So we'll see what happens next week in Shady House. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.